Hello students, welcome to virtual chemistry. This is Dr. Padmaja. Please subscribe to my channel. Okay, today uh, we are going to discuss about um, uh, continuation to nomenclature of organic compounds. The second, third session on this. That is the IUPAC nomenclature of all canes with a complex substituent students. So what is a complex substituent? If you see like a simple methyl, this is simple methyl, simple substituents, right? Uh, if you see C2H5, it will be called as ethyl. And if you see CH2, CH2, CH3 is propyl. So instead of this, if you see any carbon chain is attached to a substituent, which is complex in. See, how can we write the name of this one? This is a substituent. How to write the name of this one? So in such cases, you need to follow a few more rules. So let us discuss those things in today's session. <clears throat> Coming to the normal way of nomenclature already, you know. So always remember, IUPAC nomenclature of any organic compound will be involving three uh, parts in the name, prefix, root word, and suffix, as well as suffix. I explained all these things in the first session. You can uh, follow if you don't understand. Again, prefix has two parts in it. First part is having a substituent name. Second part is having the words like cyclo, bicyclo. If you see, if you are dealing with cyclic compound or bicyclic compound or spiral compounds, you have to use the words, these words. Always the name of any organic compound starts with the substituent, ends with the functional group students. And the root word will explain about the carbon-carbon length, parent carbon-carbon chain length, okay? Like if there is only one carbon, we use meat, two carbons, each three carbons prop and 10 carbons up to deck like that. Coming to the suffix also having two parts in it. What are those two parts? Uh, first part will explain about carbon-carbon bond type. If it is single bond in, double bond in, triple bond in. This already you know. And finally, functional group. If depending on the type of functional group, we used to have different uh, wordings, right? Alcohol, all, aldehyde, all. Okay, for oxalic acid, oic acid, like that. So this is the basic way of nomenclature students. And coming to the IUPAC nomenclature of all kinds with complex substituent, you have to follow all the rules, whatever we are, we discussed about simple all kinds. Here also, we have to follow the same rules, students. Let me briefly explain them. <coughs> so what rules we have to follow, students? First rule, you have to select parent carbon chain. So how can you select parent carbon chain? Longest carbons. So longest carbon carbon chain is said to be the parent carbon chain. Next, you have to give the numbering of carbon. If there is any substituent, carbon has to give numbering in such a way that substituent carbon should get least number students, should get least number. If you have more than one substituent, then uh, least some rule you have to follow. So you have to follow least sum rule in case you have, oh, sorry, least sum rule. In case if you have more than one substituent. That means if you add uh, number of carbons on which substituent present, like X plus Y should give least value. In such way, you have to get the numbering. You have to give the numbering. When more than one substituent is there, their names has to be written in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. You have to follow alphabetical order. And more than one of same type of substituent is present, you have to use the words like di, tri, tetra, etc. And so here one more rule you have to remember, students. First rule is some rule. Next is first point of difference. Point of difference. That means substituent should get least number students. Okay, so these rules as usual you have to follow in case of alkanes with a complex substituent or for any kind of organic molecules. One addition rule that you have to follow here is the carbon of complex substituent which is attached to attached to parent carbon chain parent carbon chain should give always number one, should get number one. 
Okay, let me explain this with the help of an example, students. Okay, with the help of an example, I will explain. <laughs> let us take uh, one example here. So here is an organic compound. So you need to give the name IUPAC nomenclature for this organic compound. Now you see here, this parent chain, you select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. Okay, so this will be the parent carbon chain students. Now give the second rule you follow. Give numbering in such a way that this is the substituent carbon. It has to get least number. So you can, say, you can try from left to right or right to left but see that this substituent carbon get, should get least number. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So right to left, it is getting least number. Give this side. One, two, three, four. And fourth position, we have substituent. So what kind of substituent it is? Complex substituent. Now what do you have to do? So this is a carbon which is attached to parent carbon. So this carbon always has to be given number one student. This carbon should get number one. So you can write if you want the carbons, okay, carbons. Okay, so now you see, again, this is a complex substituent. In this complex substituent, you have to follow as usual, the same rules how you are following in case of parent carbon carbon chain, same rules you have to follow. Choose the uh, longest carbon carbon chain. And here you remember students, the only mistake that most of the students used to do is, so this will be taken as a parent chain that cannot be taken because this is the first carbon. So take the second carbon, either this or this or this. Any one of this will be a, only two carbons will come in the parent chain. And these two carbons will become substituents now on the first carbon. Okay. Now let us write the name. What you have to do? First substituent, where is it on the fourth position? And it has to be written within brackets. So Always remember, substituent name should be, whenever it is a complex substituent, because it is also having, again, uh, substituent in it, you have to write it within, within closed brackets. Okay. So tell me how many substituent it has to substitute on the first carbon. So one comma one, what are those two? Methyl substituents. So di, two are there. So di, methyl, di, methyl. And what is the parent uh, chain here? Two carbons. So two carbons means eth. But it is a substituent. So you have to write as ether. Okay. That is the name of complex substituent. One, one, dimethyl ethyl. And now coming to the parent chain, how many carbons we have? Eight carbons. So what is the root word? Oct. And next will come suffix. So what kind of bond we have? Single bond. So N. Is there any functional group? No functional group. Clear students. So second, one more example, I'm going to write here, you can see, solve this one. Okay, now you just see, um, Take a parent carbon chain here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and here if I choose this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, how many substituent I'm getting students? One, two, three substituent. If I choose this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, how many substituent I'm getting? Only two substituent. So you have to choose the parent carbon carbon chain in such a way that it should have maximum number of substituents. So take this as parent carbon carbon chain. Okay. Now this is a substituent and these two are substituents, right? Okay, sorry. This will also include total nine carbons, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons are coming, okay? Okay, so only two substituents we have students. Give numbering in such a way that the substituents are carbons should get least number. Okay, if I start from here, one, two, three, four. So on third and fourth positions, I'm getting substituent. From this side, one, two, three, four, and five. So on four and five. So which one I have to follow here, students? First method only, because in that method only, we are getting least number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
total seven carbons. Now tell me the name. And two substituents we have. So on the fourth, we have methyl substituent. And the third, we have a complex substituent. So what is the complex substituent name here, students? Tell me the name. This carbon has to be given number one always. So choose the longest carbon chain again. One, two, three. This is longest carbon chain. It has again a substituent. Okay. So right, tell me what is its name? Three carbons means prop. Prop, right? So who will come first? Methyl will come first or propyl will come first? So methyl will come first. So first write four methyl. Okay, next three. So complex substituent name should be written within brackets. So on second carbon, we have two methyl again. And three carbons means prop. And it is a substituent, so propyl brackets closed and total seven carbons. So het and it is single bonds aim, het aim. Okay, clear? So let us discuss few more examples. Right, so here you see, is it a complex substituent? See the parent carbon chain. First rule, what you have to follow? Choose the parent carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So obviously, longest carbon carbon chain will be the parent. So this is a parent carbon. Now, see, it is symmetrically arranged. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you give numbering either side, it is giving fourth position. So give numbering on any side, no problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On fourth position, we have substituent students, only one substituent, that is ethyl. So four ethyl is a substituent, it is a, a cyclic compound, no need to use the words like a cyclo, bicyclo and all. Next directly root word, root word seven means hept and next suffix single bonds in and no functional group. So this will be the name. Now coming to this one, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, this is CH3 students. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Total seven. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be a parent carbon chain. Okay. Now. So now, how can we select uh, numbering? Give numbering in such a way that this carbon has to get least number. It is also symmetrically arranged. So you can give numbering either side. It will give fourth position. Okay, students. Five, six, seven. This side, one, two, three, four, same. So on the fourth position, we have a complex substituent, right? It in brackets. Get this number one, and this will be a parent chain. And first carbon, we have methyl. So one methyl, and two carbons means ethyl because it is a substituent. End the bracket, total seven carbons. So hept, all are single bonds, in hept chain. Clear? Now write the name of this one, students. See here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, total nine carbons. You take this or this or this. And if I go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine only. So let us choose this as a parent carbon chain. Okay, first rule is done. Second, you give numbering to the carbons in such a way that a substituent carbon has to get least number. If you see from this side to this side, and third position, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Third, sixth, and eighth position, students. If I start from this side, second position, we have substituent. And fourth position, we have substituent. And seventh position. So which one is correct, student? This method is correct. Use this method. Now, so these are one, and second carbon and seventh carbon. We have methyl substituent. So it is easy to write their name. But you see on the fourth carbon, we have a complex substituent. So again, give number one to the substituent and choose the longest carbon here. This will be the longest carbon. And this will be a substituent. Start writing of name. So I'm writing here students. Okay. And this is three means prop. So meet, so we'll come first methyl. Write the positions. Two comma, two comma, seven. Try methyl. Okay, next on fourth carbon, we have complex substituent four. So what is that? Again, in first carbon, we have methyl substituent one methyl. Okay, three carbons means prop. 
it is a substituents of propyl total number of carbons are nine so non and all are single bonds a non a clear students so like that will you try for this molecule for a complex substitute please try to answer this question uh, comment your answer in the comment section okay choose the longest carbon carbon chain then give the numbering where the substituents should get least number and then you see is there any complex substitute i think there is no complex substitute here only simple methyl and ethyl so you can write easily okay clear students do you understand one additional rule you have to follow that is so the here substituent carbon has to get complex substituent carbon has to get one based on that you have to choose the longest carbon carbon chain and in substituent also you have to follow the same rules how you are following for a parent compound clear students okay so hope you understood this lesson and definitely it will help you students uh, so please follow my lessons and subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye